And I want to know more. Okay. Reason why I want to really explore the Ghanaian dishes. I want to explore it. <laughs> so you can marry a Ghanaian? I can marry a Ghanaian. Really? Yes, nice. I can. I nice. can. At least my children will speak three and they'll speak my local dialect. <laughs> Do you have any advice for any young Nigerian like you who maybe recently graduated and is looking to like, okay, let me leave Nigeria a little. I want to go to Ghana and start my life. Do you have anything to tell them? <laughs> well, I would like to say welcome. If you're coming to Ghana, welcome. Ghanaians are very nice people. They are very cool people. They are accommodating, but you don't take advantage of them. Um, even if you're smart, don't outsmart someone to cheat the person. This is one advice I will give to every Nigerian living anywhere whether in Ghana or in any other country. And come in and make sure you have your papers. It's moving around freely and all of that. And when you come, don't make trouble. Don't look for trouble. Ghanaians will not look for your trouble unless you look for their trouble. And they'll throw you out. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lily and today I have this adorable beauty in my studio. Please join me as I welcome this beauty. My name is Kina Befe. I'm a YouTuber and the name of my YouTube channel is called Befe Space. I'm also a cook and I reside here in Accra, Ghana. Originally, where are you from? full-blooded Niger babe. How long have you been living in Ghana? I came to Ghana for my studies. That was in 2014. And then I finished. I went back to Nigeria in the year 2019. And then I came back to Ghana again. I actually went to Nigeria for my youth service. Mm -hmm. So after mm -hmm. youth service, I stayed a while. Then I came back to Ghana last year, 2022. Okay. How is life? already you schooled here so mm -hmm. there are a lot of things you already know mm -hmm. you have been able to adjust to the lifestyle here mm -hmm. coming back to ghana now you're here for good right yeah. you don't live here you want to do everything mm -hmm. here what has changed from you being a student when you were here mm. to you being on your own right now <laughs> being <laughs> A lot have changed. Okay, like, like what? A lot have changed. When I was a student, of course, I had my friends, you know, university mates. So I think life was a bit easier then. Nera was doing well. Mm. When they send you small money, you get a lot of money. You know, you're living a good life. And coming back to Ghana, not as a student mm. anymore, but now standing on your own, I would do. When I say standing on your own, doesn't mean my parents will not support me. You no. get it. I mean, like you're but no longer like a student. You are school, yes, mm -hmm. you're no longer a student. You are now coming to work. Mm -hmm. Then you were you were a student. You were schooling. So you all your focus was on school. On, yeah. You know? But now you're no longer schooling. You're now here to work. A lot of things have changed. Now you now understand the economy. <laughs> the economy, gong gong. When you have to work to make your money to eat. You we appreciate oh, every go. ten cities. Then when we are students, they will send you money now. You can't eat. You know, no, but you, you, you do understand. Even if sometimes things were hard, then you understand because oh, mom will send me money. Dad will send me money. But now you have to work mm. to eat, and it's it, I won't say it's tough, but I will say it's quite challenging because coming back last year, mm. the economy is not like when it's. I was a student. It's not like when I was a student. The economy is more tougher now. Things are more expensive now. So, mm. and that last day was at the peak of it. Like that was when you yes. thought that Ghana was going to sink. Didn't you feel that way? I, I did. In fact, when I was coming, people were saying, "Don't come to Ghana." Hey, oh, those of to... us living here were being mocked. Like, hey, mm. you people say Ghana is. Mm -hmm, a... mm -hmm. It was shaking. Yes, yeah, so we were saying, "Don't come to Ghana. Don't come to Ghana." And I'm like, ah, let me leave that country first and come and rest here first. But anyways, it's it's been challenging, but so thank God. Okay, thank God. So far, so good. Aside creating content and cooking, what else do you do? For now um creating of content and cooking the reason is because not because i've not gotten um, a white collar job well i'm not really a white collar person but i've gotten offers like that but it was interfering with my business 
So I did not have time for my business and my business was suffering. And this is a stage where I'm grooming my business. I'm trying to get my client's base. I'm trying to get my YouTube going. Hmm. And then there was no time for all of that. So I had to give it a pause. Let me try to balance myself up very well. Then I will know if I can chip in white collar jobs somewhere. Mm. But for now, I, I really want to grow my food business in Ghana. Okay. Nigerian food to be precise. Okay. I want to really grow it and then grow my YouTube channel. And then we'll see what else we can add. Where do you offer your services? Like your cooking? Where do you have a hmm? restaurant? Or? No, I don't have a restaurant. I cook from home. Okay. So... You make your orders in liters, your soups, your stews, your gravies, your porridges. You make your orders and then we deliver in liters. So the least we can prepare is two liters okay. of food. Homemade for you, specifically for you. So I would like to... And because right. I will ask you, you see when you go, when you go to the... Sorry, no disrespect to those that own a restaurant. I've owned a restaurant in Nigeria before, so okay. no disrespect. So, you know, when you own a restaurant, it's like a food for everybody. Mm. Do you get? Mm. But when you order from me, to be precise, you customize it for you. What do you like? Do you like pepper? Me, I like pepe. Do you like like, for instance, I love pepper and I like pomo inside. You got no problem. Okay. You know, there are some people that you prepare something for. Let's say you want to prepare mm. a fang soup for someone. Person say, I don't mm. like prewinkle. Mm. Do you get? Mm -mm. Another person will say, I like prewinkle. Ah, what is a fang without, without prewinkle? Do you get? So when you when you order from me to be precise, I will ask you some certain questions. I have you in mind mm. when preparing the food. So for now, I don't have a restaurant. Okay. But you can order, and it takes twenty four hours for the order to be delivered and payments validates order. Oh, okay. So where do people get you to place order? Are you is it through YouTube or yeah. Instagram or WhatsApp yes. where you have a platform somewhere that no. you Instagram. Okay. On Instagram I'm um, Befest Kitchen on okay. Instagram. So you can go on Instagram, you place your order or you send me a WhatsApp message and then you place your order. You go back to mm -hmm. something you said that you got offered for white collar job. job yeah so you turned it down is that in ghana or in nigeria in ghana really they know you're in nigeria and they just have a job for you wow I is it that easy to get a job in ghana as a nigerian sorry i have to get myself into mm. trouble this time <laughs> i would say if you want to get um a job in in ghana as a foreigner or in mm. nigeria let me use nigeria to be precise i don't know for other countries as a nigerian to be precise you need to get your papers right okay like all your papers you get so what once you have them when resident have permit them. what again your resident mostly your resident permit and your work permit okay so now it's like the work permit and the resident permits they are like together oh really you know, okay. ID card. so you need to have that once you have that you can go into apply, the job yes, market apply. And, yes apply okay. because they are going to ask right and that's the most important thing once you have that they wouldn't say okay oh there still won't be there won't be another problem to stop mm -hmm. you from getting the job no as long as you, you you are good for the job and you have your papers you are good to go you heard that from the horse's mouth mm -hmm. like she's in best position to tell us this because mm -hmm. i have never applied. applied i've never want to apply mm -hmm. before <laughs> so yeah. i'm glad that it's working for people who mm -hmm. want to do it which of the schools did you attend Sikkim Manipal University, currently Academic City College. Why is that in Accra here? Yeah? Um, it was located in Seko. Oh, really? But I think they've, they've moved. I've okay. forgotten where they moved to, but they've moved to a very much bigger space. It's an Indian university. Anyways. Oh, really? Yes. It's an okay. Indian. Now that you're back and living in Ghana, mm -hmm. how do you feel? How are you? <sighs> Apart from the usual adult thing now, where mm -hmm. the economy. You know, apart from that, like, how do you feel Truthfully, I'm living fine. in Ghana? Like, I'm, 100%? I'm fine. Sometimes, I just wish I can pack up my family members and bring them here. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Fine. Yes. I'm fine. At least, I have lights. <laughs> <laughs> get into trouble today let's get at into least, trouble together at least i have lights because okay. my business for mm, instance mm, this mm. was one of the challenge i faced when i was in nigeria i had a restaurant in nigeria one major challenge i faced was electricity no light where was it located because which part of nigeria? Aja. Oh, lagos. lagos aja yes but so so 
the major challenge I had, one, one, was light, electricity. Mm -hmm. You see, you have to buy fuel. Uh, maybe if light comes, then you have to manage it. Uh, and easy, uh, say easy, Nepa. <laughs> Nepa will still come and charge you as a business. They won't charge you like as normal house, no charges. They'll charge you as a business. And the light is not there. Uh, give us this light. I think uh, a lot of Nigerians are willing to pay if they get the Give us the light. We give are going us, to pay. Give us this light. And you know, that, that was one of the major things that made me stay back. I actually came to Ghana not to reside. Though. I just okay. came to visit and go back. Mm. But when I came back, I saw light. Ah, I said, no. This will help my business, my food business. Because see, sometimes you put food stuffs in the freezer and mm -hmm. then it will go bad. It will go bad because the light is not there. Mm -hmm. Even if you want to run generator, will you run generator all through the night? You're not going to run it all through the night. So I was like, no. When it comes to business, I'll prefer, especially when it comes to my business with mm -hmm. what I've experienced mm -hmm. in Nigeria, I'll prefer to locate myself here in Ghana okay so it's been good at least those things have been keeping me going okay. it's been good the peace mm. i've not had to the encounter. peace yes you're going to tell us more about the peace <laughs> i've not had to encounter some things i encountered in nigeria but it's not like there are no insecurities in ghana but you understand least, right so it's been good i wouldn't say it's not been good at all it's been fantastic ghana has been a home oh okay ghana has been in home so what is your other do you have any challenge living here doing business in ghana as a foreigner uh first of i i'm new in the business here in ghana mm. okay. i'm new in the business so it's now that i'm trying to create or get my client base okay and you know the food i do is nigerian food mostly mm. I have someone that does the Ghanaian food in case someone calls to order. Okay. But my own hands, mm. I do the Nigerian food. So I have to now locate the Nigerian community. Okay. Do you understand? I can most of the people you meet around are Ghanaian. Mm. So mm. you have to now locate the Ghanaian, the Nigerian community. And that that has been a challenge. I've been trying to penetrate the Nigerian community, get to meet more people. Because most of the people I knew back then, they've gone back. Mm. They were mostly students. So they've gone back to Nigeria. So now I'm now creating new client base, new friends, new network. So it's not been easy okay. i wouldn't say it's been easy because sometimes you can go a month and you've not received any order because nobody knows you mm. yet right? nobody knows you like yet. you said earlier you want to you want to build your client base yes so nobody you know this is a process yes. to get to where yes. you want to be yes the few people that have contacted me um on instagram they're like oh they want one plate two plates and i'm mm. not a restaurant i don't okay. do one plate two plates and i will not cook food and store in my freezer waiting for someone to order mm. before yeah they i want everything fresh, fresh. so you order so i i calmly tell them oh i take orders in liters like okay. from two liters there's electricity in ghana who can put in your freezer okay you understand so those are some of the challenges I've faced anyways. Okay. And how to scale up. Mm. But at the same time, you can't scale up without the clients. So I need the clients to scale up. So for events, for parties. I think I've gotten some two orders for events and parties here in Accra. But I need more of that. Okay. Yeah. Tell us more about your YouTube channel. What do you do there? Hmm. My YouTube channel is about food, health, and lifestyle in general i'm a big advocate for good food i'm a big advocate for health and i know that what you eat today will determine how your body will treat you tomorrow okay <laughs> i've seen a lot of aged people okay i have seen a lot of sick people too and sometimes it's because of what we've put into our body over time I've ate a lot of things that I'm not supposed to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to near, like I'm not supposed to go close to. I realized when I was younger, mm -hmm. my, my, my stomach in particular, my stomach hardly reacts to food. I had this very strong immune system to fight food and I hardly fall sick. Okay. But I realized when I'm growing older, as I'm growing older, I started reacting to food. When I eat rubbish, my stomach will give me rubbish. Mm -hmm. 
like mm -hmm. my system will retaliate like it will tell me give me signals that and i realize i know i have to now take what i eat very very seriously, seriously. because as you grow older your body metabolism is not like when you were way 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 younger okay. so i'm a big advocate for food i'm good food to be precise i'm okay. a big advocate for health so my channel is about food health i want to go around ghana i want to explore ghanaian dishes okay i love nigerian dishes you know when i came to ghana i used to say ghanaian food doesn't really have nutrients <laughs> That was what you were saying, right? Okay. Because I wasn't seeing the vegetables, okay, like the Nigerian mm, dishes. Mm, mm. But I was wrong. Mm. I was wrong because it's just the few dishes I know. Do you understand? And sometimes when you look at what they put inside the food, you know that no, the food has nutrients. Yeah. So it has drawn me closer to wanting to know more about their food. Okay. The ones I've not heard about, the ones I've heard about, but I've not eaten or I've not seen. I want to know. So more of that on my channel, more okay. of health stuff, then more of lifestyle. Sometimes we just have fun, laugh, laugh mm. away your problems and your sorrows. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you're welcome to living in Ghana. Thank I'm, you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You're having Thank it going you. good for you. Are you single? Are you in Ghana all by yourself? Like you're single? Uh, like are you married I'm or not you're married? Uh, I'm not married. I'm not married. I want to ask. <laughs> You are not married and you are so beautiful. So, you. are you open to dates? Dating? Mm. <laughs> Should I say? Uh, just, so. just come on my YouTube channel. You know right? more about me. Yes. Okay. Go on my YouTube. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave our, our handle down in the description of this video. Yes. So, you guys should please go and check out this beautiful buffet. And, um, you know, show how the love you can, okay? She's yeah. really enjoying herself in Ghana, <laughs> encouraging yeah, her. Bro. Because we have this owner in Nigeria. How can you say you are living in peace? Ah. What does that mean in the first place? No. So we have this own you. Like, you people should take out. <laughs> but I'm glad that um, you're living here, had, you know, you're, you're happy, you're okay. Yes, so that's what uh, matters. So do you have any, do you have any Ghanaian youtuber you look up to especially with your new found niche that you mm. want to go into exploring different Ghanaian dishes is there someone you're looking up to there's this lady is this woman tiana i don't okay. know if i'm getting the name i wanted to tell you about uh, tatiana yes tatiana yes i do since i was in nigeria i do follow her okay. and yeah I love what she does. So have you tried meeting her? Or something? No, I've not. I've not. Oh, what I've are you waiting not. for? She's a very nice person. Uh, yeah, she's gonna she receive in you. Accra? No, she lives uh, somewhere. She comes to Accra. Yeah, she she goes to everywhere in Ghana, like everywhere to do. Um, just and what secondly, you want to do. I hmm. admire you a lot, and I'm oh. going to tell you why. Um, should I? Okay, go on, please. <laughs> Guys, my hands are not there. Oh. <laughs> go on. First of, you're a very pretty lady. Oh. And I'm like, okay. Thank you. Pretty woman. Okay, I, you know, you know now, you, you are moved by what you see first. Whether you're a man or you're a woman, like, when you see a beautiful thing, you admire. Oh. And then I was like, okay, let me reach out to her. Let me see if her personality on camera is the same off camera so i decided to reach out to you i first of all followed you on instagram okay i and you you accepted my request yeah yes sure. why not you accepted my request and then i sent a message like oh please i want to meet you and you responded because i've reached out to some youtubers and I didn't get a very swift response, or maybe they'll read the song. They How big are they? Know. Like they have millions of subscribers or not what? Millions, not millions. Just normal, and, and they normal don't respond. Thousands of subscribers. Uh. So I really appreciate that about you. Oh, that welcome. you didn't even bother to ask what's your YouTube channel name. Let me, you know, let me check if this person is even. As I when I'm shooting this video, I'm just on seven hundred and two subscribers. Okay. So. If it's some YouTubers, will be like, oh, wait, I won't do it. Two hundred and two uh, subscribers. What's that? Like, so guys, please. I really appreciate the that. reward for all these um, <laughs> compliments she have thrown at me, <laughs> Tim Lily. You guys should please, please. let's take her to one case so she can get monetized. <laughs> 
So Thank take a, let's take her to one thousand subscribers, Thank guys, you. please. Okay. Thank you. Let's let's be there for her. Thank you. So it is. Uh, there's something I saw a video somewhere. Mm. Maybe I don't know if you have something to say. Okay. Someone actually made a video. Okay. Saying that Nigerians have hijacked the YouTube space in Ghana. How true is that? Do you have anything to say about that? <laughs> you allowed also. Eh? You are not. Eh. It's not even a Ghanaian that said it. They Nigerian. are not complaining. Yeah, I think the person is a Nigerian talking about eh, why Nigerians are all in Ghana. Mm. Did you come to Ghana with the sole aim of becoming a YouTuber? No. I've been a YouTuber before. Fun facts. I, when I was in Ghana, when I was studying, I had this company I was working with. Okay. Minik company. And I had a YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel was about food too. The name of that channel was Befes uh, Show. It's still on YouTube. It's not okay. like it's, it's disabled. It's still on YouTube. But because I left, mm, I had to go. I had to go. And that channel just had to come to a halt. Although I will still pick up the channel later. But when I was doing that, I didn't know anything about YouTube. It was my boss that do video edits. Mm you know upload i didn't know anything about youtube oh. but because i i just had that yeah love for the camera to talk to people about what i love mm. so i mm. just decided to start learning about youtube again mm. and start going back so me coming to my first video was in nigeria okay I, I, I remember I said earlier that me coming to Ghana, I was just coming to stay for a while. I didn't mm, come to reside. You, you didn't know you so, were going to end up living here. So it's not like I came to Ghana and started YouTube. Mm. I started in Nigeria. Although when I uploaded the first video, I was in, in like, Ghana. 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 But, but it Nigeria, was shot in Nigeria. Okay. So what was your first impression when you came to Ghana as a student? Mm. Prior to that, have you been to Ghana before? No. Okay, so when you got here, it's Accra, right? You mm -hmm. schooled here. Mm -hmm. So you got to Ghana. How did you feel? Like, what was that thing? First off, when I finished secondary school, I wanted to school outside the country. Yes. Okay. So I was looking for, you know, what scholarship? Hmm. Not Ghana. Ghana was never on my mind. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to school outside. But it wasn't coming forth. And then I got admission into University of Agriculture Umudike, okay. in Abia State. Mm. So whilst I was there, the strike came on. And then I went back home. So we're like, no, time is going. I have to go to school. And we didn't know when the strike was going to be lifted. Like it was an indefinite strike. So that was how we started making move to come to Ghana. We had this family friend that their children was in Ghana. They just came to Ghana to school. Okay. So we contacted them and then asked them what it entailed and everything. In the space of one month, I was ready to come to Ghana. So it's not like I did researched about Ghana. Mm. It's not like Ghana was at the back of my mind mm. or anything. So I was just, in fact, let me tell you one funny thing. I was coming from River State. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, were you coming from Lagos? No, or I was Rivers? coming from River, my state. Uh. I was coming from River State. Do you know? As I went to ABC Park, mm. Center Bus, and they asked me, Where are you going to? I said, I'm going to Ghana. <laughs> Straight. Not knowing that I'll get to Lagos first because then I was younger. You didn't know you spent like 15 or se to 17 I didn't hours know what I was to Lagos. For. And I was going alone. I wasn't going with any family. Okay. Or so I was going alone. So I didn't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I told them I was going to Ghana. It was the guy that said, no, you have to get to Lagos, Lagos first mm. before Ghana. So yeah, that was how I moved from Port Harcourt to Lagos and then from Lagos to Ghana. And I entered Ghana. Mm. First thing was light, electricity. What time of the day? What time did you get? It was in the night. night. Okay, and then everywhere the night. was everywhere was lit up. That was not even my problem. Mm -hmm. That was not my problem. My problem was the next day. I was thinking that they would take the light. Mm -hmm. So now nah, quickly I on my charge your phone ah, quick, quick, You understand so now? Through. You understand? <laughs> fast, fast. Everything on point. I went to check. Ah, never passed the day. <laughs> because then I didn't even know they were called ECG. I asked my friend that I was staying with, as a family friend that their children was there. I said, yeah. they said, this is not Nigeria. Calm down. <laughs> Don't rush to iron your clothes for the whole week. They won't take the light. Don't worry. Oh so that was my first impression. I'm like, eh? Hey. They don't take light here. Ah, that one is good. And you stay for like three months. The light was... Do you get 
do you get it was really weird to me mm. i remember calling my family i say ah they thought it would take light here and it was interesting mm. the, another thing that was a shocker to me was the food okay so how did you react to the food i, I won't lie i did not react well <laughs> my Ghanaians. I will say the truth. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, now I'm a professional fufu eater. Don't try me. <laughs> uh -huh. But at that time, I did not react to it. Okay. Food was watery. The soups were watery. Mm. I was like, ah, how will the soup be watery? How are we going to eat this thing now? Mm. It won't make sense. It won't have taste. I didn't try it. Mm. You the just judged. Yes. I just judged. And I stayed in Ghana over three years without eating fufu. You have missed. Because I used to. Like when my food stuff is getting finished, I will call, they will bring. So I always had my soup ingredients at home to mm. prepare my soup. So nothing actually pushed me, me pushed to you to go and try. Now have you I hope you have forgiven yourself for I'm not forgiving you. Have you forgiven yourself for not for denying yourself? I forgive the fufu enjoyment. I've like, eaten fufu sa I have not forgiven myself. I've forgiven myself because now <laughs> I said this my coming back to Ghana is like second chance for me. <laughs> To come and eat all the teas that I did not eat <laughs> when I was in Ghana. When That's you finally I tried, I tried fufu. When I tried, for, ah, you know, sometimes it's who prepared the food first mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. to eat. The person I ate the food from, it was a family friend. I mm -hmm. say family friend. My pastor's wife. I went to my pastor's house anyway. Okay. So the wife prepared that light soup with fufu, homemade. Home <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. You should order from the first kitchen. We'll give you homemade. They, they, they prepared homemade light soup and fufu hmm. and then they dished my own separate with plenty of rishi rishi meats hmm. fish that was when i fell in love in love with fufu i still learning how to prepare light soup and all that so that i can be preparing for myself for yourself i think so now i'm forgiving myself because uh, i've eaten some me i've not because I, they say wait i want to eat that fufu to a level i'll eat it today and i'll forgive myself <laughs> and deny myself for me okay so now you are um just the foods in, yes in I Ghana here. so I which one is your favorite among them which one do you know mm. i think we know uh, for me i know just a little of a few of them okay i know a few will i say i've eaten a few okay but i know more i've heard of face the wall i really want to eat it what but do you I'm call it face the wall what that coconut uh, it should be coconut yeah because there was uh, i was trying to tell a Ghanaian friend of mine how we eat the reason we eat that coconte in my own okay right okay we eat it because like there is nothing else they just say that season of the year where you've planted everything you just yes. want to use it too yes. so he said hey, that them too here is something that so i think that should be mm, face the face wall. The wall. Yeah, maybe you are shy of eating it that's why they'll be facing the wall <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes i think i've not eaten it before okay. but my best my best Ghanaian dishes Palava sauce and yam. Yeah. Or tilapia and banku. Okay. I love it. And then banku. Yes. I, I mean, it. and then fufu and uh, light soup. Yeah, fufu and light soup. The light soup should be palm nut soup. Ah, okay. You yes, like I like the okay. palm nut soup. Okay. The fufu. Okay. You're getting to know the, some of the foods. And yes. Yes. Yeah. And I want to know more. Okay. Reason why I want to really explore the Ghanaian dishes. I want to explore it okay if i don't ask you this question then i'll be feeling like i should have asked okay now you are single yeah no pressure to settle down i know take your time but if somebody from ghana a ghanaian man ask you know maybe he sees you and like mm -hmm. oh my god she's mm -hmm. adorable which of course you are mm -hmm. and then uh, will you say yes and he want to marry you will you I feel Ghana, Ghana and Nigeria we are like brothers and sisters, so husband and wife. So, <laughs> so you can marry a Ghanaian? I can marry a Ghanaian. Really? Yes, nice. I can. Nice. I can. Nice. At least my children will speak three and will speak my local dialect. <laughs> okay. So, um, what tribe are you anyways from? I know you're from Rivers. Yeah, Oboni. what tribe? Oboni. Oboni. Wow. Okay. Nice people. I've been there. Yeah, I've been mm. there. Yeah. I've been to Bori, I've been to oh. so many places. Oh, I've been to nice. Gokana. It's one of those places I know very well in Nigeria. Really? I've gone to some uh, villages in in uh, well, um, in Ogoni land mm -hmm. that even myself, like, how did I get how did you get? I loved it. So it's cool. The people were welcome. Yeah, right? they're welcoming. Mm, nice. That's okay. <laughs> nice to meet one of you here. 
happy to meet you too. And I'm glad they treated you well. Yeah, they are nice. They are nice. Like, so you're going to be around after all. You're yes. going to be in Ghana for yes. now. Yes. Like maybe forever. Who knows? You know, forever. It's possible. I sure we don't want to go to Bruni land. <laughs> Hey, from here, man. Do you want the, the Japan? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any advice for any young Nigerian like you who maybe recently graduated and is looking to like, okay, let me leave Nigeria a little. I want to go to Ghana and start my life. Do you have anything to tell them? <laughs> well, I would like to say welcome if you're coming to Ghana. Welcome. Ghanaians are very nice people. They are very cool people. They are accommodating, but you don't take advantage of them. Um, even if you're smart, don't outsmart someone to cheat the person. This is one advice I'll give to every Nigerian living anywhere, whether in Ghana or in any other country. And come in and make sure you have your papers. So you don't get deported or you're not scared of going to some places, moving around freely and all of that. And when you come, don't make trouble. Don't look for trouble. Ghanaians will not look for your trouble unless you look for their trouble. And they'll throw you out. <laughs> so come in, appreciate them. Emotional. God, appreciate God. them, love them, and they're going to show you same. Yes, you have some people that might come to you and they're like, hmm. Yeah, in Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. They might have their reasons anyways. Maybe they've heard some stories mm, about Nigeria. Or so a certain Nigerian have done, done them something. Don't worry, one thing must have happened for them to have that experience towards or they react that way towards you. But just make the difference. <laughs> Prove to them that Nigerians are not bad people. That we are also good people. We are loving people. And I promise you, you will enjoy your stay over here. Mm. This is so emotional. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming thank on you, my channel. Lily, I should be the one saying thank you. Lily, You're thank so pretty. I hope you know you. that. Okay. You too. See. So guys, I'm happy you see Lily, what you can Lily see. The camera, you don't mind camera. now. She's wrong. The camera is not doing justice. She's so pretty. Lily is more Tatiana pretty is nice. going to like you. Seriously. Mm. She'll, yes, nah. You look like her sister. Oh, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll look for her. Mm -hmm. I'll look, look for her. her. I've been her, admiring okay. her from afar. So look, look for her. her. Thank you so yeah, much for you're giving welcome. me this opportunity. Oh, really thank you for coming. I beg you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please thank you. do it to subscribe to her channel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it at the comment section. Mm -hmm. I'll pin it. And then I'm also going to leave it in the description of this video. Let's take her to 1K and be... Let's give her the, <laughs> the Ghana spirit. You know? you know what I mean? Yes, eh? I know, right? All right. Thank, thank you so much you. for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.